uh, about compelling fire ministry. Now, don't, be, don't make any misunderstandings because there's a lot of ministry going on. It's all the body of Christ. But we, we, we refer us to coming up. I guess people like to put titles to refer to who their ministry is. But it's about, but it's about Jesus. You know, we use a lot of scriptures. You know, there's so many scriptures in the Bible where people are taking scriptures out and saying, we're, uh, uh, you know, sons of thunder. It's in the Bible, you know, sons of thunder. We were going to name a band called sons of thunder. But anyway, compelling fire. Uh, uh, Dana Foster ministry. He came over, he took his time out to come over here and share some stuff. He's got a lot of great pieces of stuff, been in the Word since the 60s. Okay, bro, right here, Dana Foster. Uh, you're going to say a few things before we get this, that this other guitar player to uh, do some performance here. Testing. God bless you, everybody. Thanks for being my own blessing. I'm getting hungry. Anybody getting hungry? <laughs> Brother, Brother Rich will be here. Gamma. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I've known Bobby, I think, what, long we know each other for four or five years. Um, yeah. Met him in McDonald's, witnessing. But anyways, uh, just want to thank the Lord to be able to praise the Lord on drums today and uh, just be here. And you know, like Bobby was saying, it, 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 God is love. And uh, my, uh, my experience with the Lord, you know, as a teenager, that's what, that's what turned my life around, was Jesus and his love. You know, I really saw the love of Jesus in uh, other people. And uh, I won't go into my long testimony, but anyways, that's how I met the Lord, is through the power of the Holy Spirit, the love of Jesus, through somebody preaching the gospel to me. And uh, I got you know, verbally mad anyways, short testimony. And uh, I was in Sedona, Arizona, and I was traveling with a rock band. I was traveling with a rock band. <clears throat> they were going to San Francisco, and I got a... Hit my head, we were partying, drinking, doing drugs, and uh, I was knocked out. And all I remember was falling back, and you know, blood running down my head, my face, and uh, people screaming, and everybody was really high. And the next thing you know, um, uh, I'm just you know, out of it. I'm, uh, I'm actually in a hospital, a place where they had to fly helicopter in, and then you know, my head was really cut, really bad. So. Jesus, 
and boom, that was it. My teacher was like shouting, praising God. He was a believer, by the way. So, um, anyways, a lot of people came to Lord. Anyways, just to give you a little testimony of where I come from, and uh, I do love uh, preaching the gospel, praying for the sick, you know, ministering the word of God, and uh, really seeing the Lord work. And I believe today, in the time we're living in, Christians, especially all of us, we really need to be built up. You know, with the Lord, in the Spirit, you know, in the power, because we're living in a time, you know, where uh, it's, it's not an easy time, you know, and uh, there's a lot of hardships, and like Bobby said, you know, tribulation, all those things, you know, Jesus said, you know, be a good cheer, I will overcome the world, but you have tribulation. But that's what we're here today for, is to hook up, connect, you know, you know, uh, complement one another, enhance each other, and encourage each other in the Lord Jesus Christ. Because when two or more gather in His name, He's in the midst. And the Lord is here today, no matter what you feel like. It's not really a feeling, because you know, you can feel the Holy Spirit one day, and not feel like God is with you the next day. It's by faith. It's not by feelings. It's by commitment and by, you know, believing and trusting and walking with the Lord. But many times we don't see it. You know, we don't see the answer. We don't see it right away. But you know what? Jesus Christ is always on time. 